RSVP with Lori, your soft life ambassador. Join me if you truly enjoy life. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Join me for a short day trip from Dallas to Houston. Okay, this trip is not for a special occasion or anything like that, but I want to encourage everyone to take small day trips, travel, do road trips. You don't need to go to Dubai or Greece to brag about traveling. There are plenty of opportunities nearby you, wherever you may live, to take a small day trip to another city or a surrounding state, and you can really enjoy yourself. This is my second time visiting Houston. And one thing I want to say is they really do have some beautiful neighborhoods. I love the skyline, which you just saw previously, uh, all the trees, just really beautiful in my opinion. My husband loves to drive and I don't think people recognize just how large Texas really is. You have Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, uh, plenty of more cities, but those are the major ones. Um, so get out and get about. All right, we have arrived at Trill Burgers. Now, those of you that are not familiar, this this restaurant is owned by Bun B of UGK. Uh, they do have vegan burgers as well, so we are heading to support. Ooh, so fine, so fine. That's why I put my. I'll insert a whistle sound there because I can't whistle. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too crowded. You know, I was really fearful because we went in the evening, and usually online the lines are wrapped around the corner, so it wasn't too bad. Um, we went inside, and it was a little bit of a wait. Not nothing um, outrageous, you know, like even a Chipotle line. It was pretty comparable to just a regular fast food line. Um, I love that he did have the air on, but he just had some big fans. Nothing extravagant as far as the decor. He did have an airbrush sign of Pimp C, which is his bandmate that died. And also um, LRG was partnering with them selling merchandise as well that day. Now, let me tell y'all something. We bought two t-shirts for memorabilia and my husband left it at our doggone restaurant. Yes. Now... <laughs> I do love how they put um, your meal in these little containers. You can opt to just get a bag, but we were eating inside and I love how it's just a cute little box. The logo was very nice. Now my husband got the triple OG. I got the OG. I did not realize there were two meat patties, which I don't like a lot of um, meat on my burgers. Now I'm just reminding you guys, these are vegan burgers. They're smash burgers. So I took off one of my um, <laughs> patties because it was just a little too much for me. Next up, we headed to the Galleria Mall, and um, Dennis just needed to get a few items for his upcoming trip, so we headed to the mall to see if we could grab those uh, specialty items that he needed to finish up his packing. Okay, right here, right here is where the mistake was made. I was telling Dennis how I always wanted this specific purse ever since high school. He said we could go look inside and next thing I know, this man is wrapping my purse up, y'all. <laughs> when I leave the scene, but the boot gone. Boot gone. And I beat the pussy like a new song. Two chain, but I got me a few arms. We had the drop top down and here we are looking in search of all the slabs, which we did not see too many of, but uh, stay tuned and you will see our journey. Up 
Okay, we saw one, but that wasn't too impressive, the lime green one. This is Emancipation Street, um, where they do frequent pretty often. Still trying to find these cars, y'all. Now, last time we were here, we saw a lot of them. Now, we found some events, but they were all on Sunday, which we were here on Saturday. Um, so, Dennis saw a few guys sitting on the porch, and they had uh, one of the cars with the long spokes out. And he said, okay, well, I'll go ask them where they frequent. And this is the car there. You can see the long spokes. Woohoo! just driving around taking in some of the scenery uh, lots of colleges universities here in the Houston area and beautiful um, building design 